everyone, welcome back to the Fits Me Kitchen. I'm Adriana, editor of FitsMe.com, and today I'm here with Marissa from the blog MindOverBooty.com. Thanks for having me again. Great to have you. Today we're talking about natural peanut butter versus processed peanut butter. The, the ultimate, ultimate showdown. Marissa, what is the deal with peanut butter? Is it good for you or not? Heck yes, it's good for you. Peanut butter has protein, fiber, and healthy fats. In other words, it's an awesome whole food to incorporate into your snacks. Great, in that case, I think I'll just help myself to a handful of these peanut butter cups. These totally have peanut butter in them, right? Not so fast. They probably have some peanut butter in them, but they're not exactly a good for you food. Let me explain. This is peanut butter actual real peanut butter and I know that because when I read the ingredients it says peanuts and just a little bit of salt that's all that's in real peanut butter can you read the ingredient label for me please it has peanuts and sugar molasses fully hydrogenated vegetable oils rapeseed and soybean mono and diglycerides and salt what's a diglyceride Heck if I know, but I sure don't want to eat it. It's a good rule of thumb, if you don't recognize an ingredient, it probably doesn't belong in your body. Hey, give me some of that real peanut butter. Mmm! Hey, this is delicious. I could eat half the jar right now. Okay, before you do that, let's take a quick look at the nutrition facts. You'll see that for two tablespoon serving, it's about 200 calories. It also has about 16 grams of fat. So while it's totally a healthy whole food, it's only good for you in moderation. You're not going to feel fit if you're eating four servings of peanut butter a day. So how much peanut butter can I eat? I think that sticking to one serving a day is probably a good way to go. But you don't have to eat the whole thing in one serving at one time. For instance, you could have a tablespoon on your morning toast and then another tablespoon on your after-school apple. Ooh, it sounds delish. But seriously, there are so many ways you can eat peanut butter, like stirred into your oatmeal, on a banana, inside celery, mixed into Greek yogurt, or on a whole grain pita or cracker, or even on rice cakes. Okay, well I'm gonna wrap this up so I can start snacking. Thank you so much for joining us again on the Fits Me Kitchen, Marissa. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button below and be sure to join us next week for more teen-friendly snacks and healthy tips. Bye!